Black Adder Christmas Carol. Move the view. There are a lot of different takes on the classic Charles Dickens story because it is a really, really good story. And, you know, even after perhaps tiring of the the version that we all know, you might still want that basic story or some fun, you know, take on it. And this is one of these other takes on it. The... It isn't necessary to know that much about Black Adder to enjoy this, but the basic... what you should know and the basic gist of Black Adder, the series, or the several types of series, the different incarnations of the series, is that Black Adder is a miserable SOB. He is a cruel, sarcastic jerk who is really just looking out for himself. And he will throw his closest to the wolves just for a profit, and just to get ahead, and he's usually unsuccessful. He almost always fails in his cunning schemes. Now, that would seem to fit very well with the Ebenezer Scrooge character, but what they do here is actually have a complete reversal. And that's interesting both from the perspective of it being, you know, a Christmas Carol, and it being eh, a version of Blackadder. You know, also, part of why this works is the different incarnations of Blackadder are set in different periods of time. So, always in Britain. So, basically, the Christmas Carol Blackadder is just another generation of Blackadder, and this one is different. This one is the most generous person you could possibly imagine. And as such, he actually kind of suffers for it because people are screwing him over. You know, people are taking advantage of him. So, you know, when he gets visited by the Christmas spirit, or the Ghost of Christmas, something like that. There's only one. Robbie Coltrane, I think, you know, Hagrid, or however you pronounce it from the Harry Potter movies. And he shows him other generations, and the two of them are actually two of the other incarnations of the Black Adder series, and it's new scenes. It's not like a clip show kind of deal. He kind of wonders if he wants to, you know, pursue that path, or if he wants to stay the course. And although this takes such a different, <coughs> excuse me, approach to that with, you know, Ebenezer Scrooge, and Ebenezer Blackadder here, starting out as very generous, it manages to have the same moral as the classic Dickens tale. This is one of the best Blackadder you know, versions. It has some of the best jokes, some of the most quotable. I've watched it so many times, I can actually recite the dialogue as it's playing. The, the humor is this, this very British verbal comedy. It's, you know, it's sometimes quite silly, it's sometimes really clever and sharp and you know, very carefully constructed. There's a lot of plays on words and, you know, the... and the subject is, you know, as usual, Blackadder, history, you know, really screwed up things about history, specifically Britain's history. And this time also, of course, <coughs> excuse me, some Christmas and, you know, Dickens-era stuff. 
the acting is really good. We have the, you know, Rowan Atkinson still is Black Adder, of course. No one else could do it. Anywhere near as well, at least. You know, we, we've got Baldrick. Stephen Fry appears and great. Jim Broadbent is this... He's Prince Charles and he's this you know, overly accent, overly German accented, he can't keep a secret for even a few seconds, just cannot do it. And I don't know her name, I really should, but we have this really great actress who was also in one episode of one of the, of, of the original Blackadder series as Queen, I think, Victoria, and she's Great, just really good, and of course Miranda Richardson as I believe Queen Elizabeth in one of the past lives and the future lives, which is somewhat interesting. And she's just this great, really childish kind of ruler who just changes her mind on a whim, and somebody's head is getting lopped off because of it. The production is a little it's it's maybe it's I guess it's decent really and at points it almost seems like they're poking fun at this you know like they're you know I don't know I, I suppose they didn't have a, much of a budget and they tried to just you know make the most of what they had and, uh, you know, one part, for example, is very obviously played in reverse, and they linger on it, so I'm, I'm thinking that they knew that it was going to look really cheesy. The future scene is especially where it's evident with the, the effects, and also just awkward camera angles and framing at points. I... I don't know. That actually makes it seem like they were, you know, they didn't have a lot of time to put this together. The pacing is phenomenal. I Again, I've watched this so many times. It flies right by. I, I suppose it wouldn't if you don't like the humor. But really, if you don't like the humor of this, you're not going to like it at all. Because it's all about the humor. The... Ending is arguably a little sudden, you know, but it is a good climax. It's it's a really fitting conclusion. The I suppose that pretty well covers it. I yeah, this is a really great Christmas special and just, you know, if you at all like Blackadder, you gotta watch this one. So, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.